everyone and welcome back to day 12 of hollow queen my name is shelly and welcome back to my channel so today we are doing our siren i love sirens they're so mysterious mystical but i think if sirens were real or like mermaids were real they would really be very pretty or gorgeous except for ariel but like other than that like i think in real life they were really real they would be just flat out like ugly and disgusting because you imagine living in the ocean and you look all wrinkly and stuff but that is what sparked this look because i've always been fascinated with folklore of any nature and as we all know according to legend or folklore that sirens tend to lure their victims in by being very beautiful very gorgeous and having very beautiful voices and they lead pirates or voyagers to their deaths and they find out what they truly look like which are these ugly looking things that live in the sea so i just wanted to do something like that my interpretation of a, what a siren would look like my interpretation of what a siren would truly look like nothing really gorgeous or whatever so i wish i had more liquid latex um mine's dried up and i didn't have time to order new ones or i would have added a little bit more of special effects to this but we're gonna work with what we got so as we all know you guys know the drill i start off with my jumbo pencil and milk by nyx and i'm just outlining where the skull would be i did this also for my ringleader look so it's the same process so again i have an open chest piece that i will be doing so this is where i'm going to be sculpting out where our bones will be and the skeleton will be so i'm just going through with white body paint because white body paint is a lot more forgiving than black body paint so i'm starting off with that and then i will come back to you guys when we get to the next step So right now I am using black body paint by Diamond FX. It's my favorite black so far because it's very, very black and it's very true to its color. Um, and I'm using that to outline where my bones will be and also the background before I actually paint that all in. This is one of my favorite parts because you actually see the vision coming alive. I like bones to be very twisty, you know, like the rib cage to be kind of crazy looking and it kind of distorted because again, we're a mystical creature. We got to play the part y'all. So right now I'm just sitting here outlining that right now. And now I'm going to start my shading process. This is helping the bones look more realistic. Um, and guys, don't trip if you don't have any gray eyeshadows because I personally don't have a gray eyeshadow in my arsenal of makeup palettes. So what I do with a trick is I use just regular black body paint and I tap it off on the back of my hand or, or I tap it off on the table and I use very light pressure. That will give you a gray body paint. You just have to be super careful because black can make anything very beautiful or it can make it super ugly. So just be careful with that. Um, and then bones are not meant to be just plain white. So I want to add some texture. So I'm going in with some yellow eyeshadow from, of course, the James Charles palette. Now onto the face. I'm going to finish the rest of my skull. So I'm going to start adding my teeth. And this is the same process again that I used on my ringleader look. So I'm going to start just creating the teeth. And again, guys, I'm extra. You don't have to make this many teeth as I do. I personally just love a lot of teeth. And once you start creating the teeth, you're going to make these tiny little triangles above where you created the teeth and you will fill them in with black body paint. Now we're gonna go back with our corrupt eyeshadow. It looks really fast, but guys, I'm using very, very light pressure once again. 
and this will create dents in your skull then once you do that you're going to follow up and use upside down V's around where you just created the little dents at and this is going to emphasize that dent I promise it'll look great in pictures and once you are done I use a really pencil thin um, brush and I'm going to create a little bit more details in my skull I also shaded my skull at the top and on the sides also because again I like the way that effect looks and again right now I'm just cleaning up around my teeth because I kind of messed up in certain areas so I just go back in with white body paint and it depends on how much you put black down um, you can get away with So now on to our toxic size, like I'm kidding, but our beauty side, which lures in our sailors. So I'm just going to paint over my eyebrow with some medium blue body paint, and then I'm going to carve that out with some milk jumbo pencil, and it, it's kind of have a little bit of concealer left over from it, but don't worry about that, y'all. It'll get covered up later. So now I am using both my James Charles palette and my Artistry palette from Morphe. And guys, I love the way this look came out. Oh my God, I love playing with colors. It's my favorite thing to do. But anyway, so we are first starting off with the shade Brother from the James Charles palette. This is gorgeous medium blue. And I am just using windshield wiper motions until I get the color payoff that I want. Next, I'm going in with the shade Acapella, which is this beautiful deep blue from the James Charles palette. I love this blue. Oh my God. Later on, I went into the Artistry palette and added the shade Indigo, which is a very deep blue. So now I am adding that Indigo color that I just mentioned. And it's, oh, oh my God, it is so beautiful. Oh my God. Oh, it's just, oh. <sighs> chef's kiss. Just chef's kiss, baby. All right. So the star of the show, I went in with both hello and taylor from both the james charles and artistry palettes which is this beautiful aqua blue like it's the perfect mermaid shade like you cannot use this shade if you're going to be any type of mermaid so yeah so right now i am going to line my eyes and we are not doing a liner we're not doing a wing line it's okay we're going to smoke it out it's totally fine so at this point i wore really big lashes so i didn't really care for a liner just go around i wanted the lashes to stand out I found these lashes off of Amazon. They will be linked down in my Amazon store. If you would like to support the channel, it will be greatly appreciated. Now back to our bodies. I'm adding that same medium tone blue from my Mayron palette. And I'm just stamping that all over my face. I went over this a few times because of course I want this to be as opaque as possible. So please take your time with this guys. It will take some time for this color to build up. Now I'm going to highlight my face by using white body paint and I realized that paint doesn't really respond well with a beauty blender. I like it like it blends way better with a brush versus a beauty blender. So I had to go over spots again because I kind of messed up with the beauty blender. I didn't know but I will highlight like I normally will and clean up my areas with more body paint. Now I'm going to contour using that shade Indigo from the Artistry palette. Again, this is a beautiful blue. And I'm just contouring and blending in places that I normally would contour at if I was doing my normal makeup. I went in with a mixture of Hello and the white shade from McJames Charles. And I blended that over my highlighted areas. So I'm using it as a highlight. I grabbed my fishnet and I literally went to town. Now we're gonna draw ourselves some fish scales. Again, I wish my latex was here because I would have been trying to make my own gelatin liquid latex ones. But anyway, we're gonna just draw them on for this go around with some black body paint and then I'm going to shade that with some dark blue and I'm gonna follow that up with some black just to help shade even more so it looks more realistic. And now I'm just going to go back over on my skeleton side and do some shading over there because I want it to look like that the skeleton is underneath our fake skin because we don't want them to know that we're toxic. We don't want them to know that. We gotta keep that secret to ourselves, ladies, okay? I'm dead, I'm, I can't. Anyway, I'm going to use some dark blue body paint as my lip color and I'm going to place that all over my lips. So I created these fake 
open ears. They did not work. Okay, I don't know if it was my spirit gum. Something wasn't sticking. I was very pissed off because I really liked them and how they looked with the look. So I had to let them go. And you can totally stop here if you would like. That is totally fine. But as we all learned and know, I am very extra. So your girl made another headpiece. So this is a DIY headband that I created myself. Um, the seashells, the netting, everything was from Hobby Lobby. And I think I got the headband from Amazon, of course. And that is the final look, you guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Please let me know by giving me a like, comment down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.